That's what's gonna happen, huh? So I guess this is the war for the north. You insult us. on this episode it'd be good to do like a little check-in on what the map situation kind of looks like for us we've done really well so far at developing and taking the central plains having pushed leo bay back and actually making him a vassal i still don't know if that's gonna bite me in the ass in the long run but we shall see and we're also now at war with kong rong gonna push through him it's gonna be really nice to uh take full control of um dong for the industry income Plus also two, we'll also have it as, we'll also have uh, commerce. This will be a really good uh, income based town, city, if we can get a hold of it. So it'd be nice to have that. The biggest issue that we're gonna be dealing with is, I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do with Liu Dai. I'm probably gonna have to leave him alive for a while till I can figure out what to do since he went into a coalition with Sun Jian of all people. Cause I'm already going to have to deal with Yuan Shao whenever I go to take Luo Yang, because that's part of the mission that we have left, and these two have formed a coalition. That or are they... Yeah, they're in a coalition together. Pretty much happens every time. Like, all of this just, they decide to go into a coalition with each other. I'm gonna have to probably see if I can instigate a proxy war before I really go for her. If I can instigate a proxy war and get these two to hate each other before I officially go to take Luo Young so that way they can fight each other and I don't have to deal with a solidified front up here because honestly they should be fighting each other anyways. I can't believe they, I mean it happens often for whatever reason they decide to just partner up or vassalize each other one of the two. So we'll have to deal with that which means we're going to have to start dipping into our spy situation which means what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to use our schemes to find a way to bring people to bring their satisfaction down so does you want to have anybody like that that we can act that can act as our way in yeah it looks like sh that's her so let's see would that be enough to make her turn turncoat he had one for a while that oh, doesn't look like it yeah it doesn't look like it not yet might take a couple of turns to go into full effect, I don't know. But yeah, we're gonna have to figure out how to instigate that because I don't wanna just actively go to war with everybody up here at one time. If I can, I'd rather capitalize on the situation of they all fighting each other. If it was just Yuan Chao that owned the North, it wouldn't be that bad because he would have an army cap. But the problem is I would have to deal with Yuan Chao sending out all the armies he can, then all the armies that Gonshin Zan can, plus all the armies she can send out i might have to call in like actually have the coalition come in and help me deal with whatever comes this way i don't want to have them help me fight yuan shao because i don't want to have to compete with trying to get territory in the north and something that we're gonna have to think of as we move forward with kong rong right now the number one concern for this next turn or two is to see what this army decides to do he doesn't really have anything that's too scary overall, but these archers Sub are going to be a pain integrity. in the ass if uh, he decides to go. If he goes Hit here, it's going to be, it might be worse. I don't know, because the garrison, I don't know if the garrison's fully healed or not yet, but it might be worse if he goes here. I don't know. But right now we're kind of split, and the problem is I could, could run Dion Wei this way, but if I do, that might open him up to go backwards towards Dong come down to Ling Ya, like it, it opens him up to where he can run all over the place. So I need to be able to just secure one side or the other here. I'm prepared for the most part to deal with them. It's just, I don't want, I won't have the cavalry like I did with the last one. Do you decide to stay? No, you go towards Leon, okay. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe he's trying to give up the city or actually he might be going to the damn port to uh, go around to attack from behind. Or he does what he normally does, and he just says nah, and goes like somewhere's north, south, somewhere, opens up another base, and just continues to hate me for the rest of the to game. avoid unnecessary conflict. No. Stay down there. We bide by your choice. Yes, thank you. Oh, you're going against Gong Su. Okay, so he's trying to finish taking the corner. Okay, everybody's 
Everybody's being friendly up there. We have to break that alliance somehow. That's gonna be like a whole other battle on its own. It's just to break this northern alliance. I can. I can fight through all of them. I've done it a couple of times. Which is why I don't want to do it now. It's a pain in the ass. But I can fight through all of them. It's just, it will take a lot. It'll be a lot of back and forth. This will be a good first step. Start having everybody hating Yuan Chao up there. They're going to start losing Imperial favor as they go. As they continue to fight with each other. So he went towards Leon. I'm going to have to see exactly where he's going. That is going to require siege machines. For China! So I'll have them go in. They should be able to do fine on their own. For the people! It's a close victory, but that's fine. Uh, our victory is proof! Damn, Gorjan, what were you doing? Blocking with your face? Jesus. Okay, being that we have Behai here, now it doesn't matter what he decides to do. Persevere. No, oh, hey, look, we have one of these. I guess we might as well keep that because that opens up the other thing. It opens up the other reform that we need. Yeah, that gets us going this way. Plus the plus two the public order is not bad. We're getting to the point now too to where we're gonna have to start dealing with corruption. So what do you decide to do now? If we could, we would fight to the end. Well, you're gonna have to. Ungrateful swine. Unless you run south. Nope. Nope. Where's he going? Oh, he's going towards the actual city. The hell is that? Okay, I don't know what just happened. Why are they... What are y'all doing over here? Like, honestly, y'all have been fighting over here for like six, seven years now. And they're gonna start trying to come through my damn territory. So, this is an interesting situation. You can easily wrap around. I think we're gonna have to move... ever upwards to heaven. Up here. Do you have reach? Yeah, you do. They would be nearby. They wouldn't really do much, honestly. Not against that army that he's got. So the decision I have to make now is do I go for the port? That might actually just be the better decision. Go for the port. See what he decides to do from here. Because I can at least make whatever he... I can cover whatever distance he tries to take here actually what i can do is move y'all out to about here china is people he not is there. its oppressive warlords patience can snare any foe go into an ambush stance and yeah he can wrap around up here but he'll have to put it under siege he can't take it right away because he doesn't have any siege equipment so that's what he would have to do they can still heal whatever he tries to do we can counter easy and then we can take this. Attack! To battle! We finally have night battle thanks to Eugen. So it makes that a little easier. From the roots to heaven! Eleven Imperial favor. Kinda hurts a little bit. Tolerant, elusive. It's actually not bad. Could be a good administrator. Yeah, right. For China. Okay, so we at least have the corner more uh, covered now. All depends on what you decide to do here. If he does end up walking into them, I'm gonna have to fight it because these two. I don't know what the hell these two keep doing, but I'm gonna have to watch them. What say you? That's what's gonna happen, huh? So now, no matter what we end up doing, we have to do this. He has to go and get in my way one way or another. Rejecting. Will put us in war. Yep. He ran to him the vassal lot as a vassal. It puts us at war with her, and it puts us at war with him. 
I'm already well with you. So I guess this is the war for the north. You insult us. Damn coward. Yeah, that's what I was figuring he would do. So this makes things way more annoying. Coalition became a military alliance, so they're even more dug in. Oh, we're just not at war with her, so I don't have to worry about her. Okay. I think that worked out. So much for the spy situation I was trying to set up. Bend! Do not break! Outwards and on! The mightiest tree survives on its roots. For honor! Get that off the field. The people's voice cannot be silenced. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. This is about to come in handy. Welcome, friend. Our answer will be focused and decisive. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get shoot you down here to Chen. Because he's eventually gonna come through these mountains. Okay, so the first plan then I'm gonna have to do is I gotta get shoot you back down here to Chen to guard the entrance here at least. Then I'm gonna have to get around and finish taking Leon and Dong. I could put this under siege now, but the problem is one, we're already kind of tired. Two, I'm gonna have to siege for a turn. And three, we are at war with Gonsun Zan, right? No, we're not at war with Gonsun Zan. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Let me. See if I can we pull this real quick. Dead. Here, I know you need some food. Doing that, I wanted to worry about Gonsum and Zahn attacking me as well. I'll be able to focus solely on Yuan Shao then. Actually, actually, yeah. So with that, we're only really actually going to war with Yuan Shao here because we're about to finish off Kong wrong. We won't be having to worry about Gonsum and Zahn anytime soon. Then if I can get a proxy war between these two, he's not going to be able to fully focus everything on me. He'll be going after Guns and Zahn. If that works, I don't know if I can break their alliance, their coalition like that. We'll have to see. I thought we were going to war with everybody in the north. No, it just turns out it's Yuan Shao, which I mean, that's fine. That was the plan in the future anyways, and Liu Bei's going up there anyways. I'm going to have to deal with Liu Bei after. But Liu Bei can just kind of like distract him, keep him busy. I don't know, he might take a couple of uh, cities, I don't know. While he makes that incursion, I finish off Kong Rong. Oh, they left. Hey, he's vassalizing everybody up there. He vassalized Liu Dai. Okay, so he leaves that coalition. That opens up the door for Liu Dai, actually. So that means, actually, when I get Shuchu back down here, I can just send him up here and I can have a front line blocking him from threatening this. That will work out well. And since he moved on, actually... I'm just gonna go ahead and do Focus this. Your rage. Come Strike on, through. Ha! Justice cannot be denied. Damn, Dion, why? In time, they will thank us for this. Right, we have that. All right, so like. Right there. Actually, wait, no, hold on. Forward. Yeah. Remain pure. Get this off the field. You can keep running, Shout but. Fury. Fight a night battle. Delegate. Get this damn army off the field. Burr. 
Our victory is proof of Heaven's approval. They have suffered enough. Oh, yellow turbans are showing up over here. Okay, now this army has night battle finally. Before Guoja. That's annoying. Guoja is one away. Resist corruption and endure hardships. You get back down here. Because we're going for this one. Okay. Things for now aren't as chaotic as I thought they were about to be. But it's still really annoying that Yuan Shao wants to try and pull this shit. Instead of trying to take the north, he just wants to vassalize everybody around him. Which, don't get me wrong, it is an effective way of warfare. It's like trapping. It's technically trapping an enemy. But as, like, this situation's showing, he can't protect this. He can't protect Kong Rong. Kong Rong is about to die. And then he vassalized this dude. This dude, that just opened the door for me to go take this and have a front line to just cross into the uh north then i can go through her get luoyang i need to get luoyang before i go north just to make things easier because that'll open up the uh mission to take out yuan shao granted though actually i have liu bei working with me so if he decides to go the only real threat is across the river these three can easily just get wiped out like i'm literally about to wipe you out i'm literally about to go wipe him out then I can just take... I have to go through this anyway, so I have to wipe this out. So we'll end up attacking that. So, like, everything on my side is easy. It's just all the bullshit they're going to be sending from over here. But Leo Bay will be focusing that, so... Oh, it's not all that bad right now. We'll have to see. Be nice if we can get some Imperial favor, damn it. Where are you going? I mean, at least I'm getting to see what what's across the river from me, at least. You're gonna have him go north. I mean, I'm not gonna complain because you're taking his army away from his base, so I could just take it. Really? And so, yeah, we honestly ended up avoiding a really big battle. I don't know how. I guess because it was just a disagreement between a vassal, not just an entire affront to an entire military alliance. We don't end up exactly in full war with the north thankfully as i've kind of stated already uh i'm just chiming in now just to kind of wrap up the end of this episode a little bit because i just do a lot of diplomatic stuff towards the end but towards the end of the episode we end up putting kong rong under siege and finally taking him down and the second we go to look north well i think the game just crashed oh wait nope we got sound back yeah. <sighs>